If you're bossed up, you're feeling good and you're happy, the weather is amazing. Happy Sunday. If you watch my vlogs and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You're going to love it. It's going to get better and better and better. Um, as you know, things get better with time. So um, subscribe, share, like my page and I appreciate you for your love and your support. So I'm going to get started and um, today I'm wearing native. It's the first Sunday of the month and traditionally in churches, well African churches, it's, uh, it's a Thanksgiving Sunday so I'm wearing native to comm commemorate that, if that makes sense. So I'm quite happy, I'm a native and happy to do a video for you guys. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to talk about... Um, a topic I found on um, on YouTube. Um, this video is inspired by something I watched during the week. It was basically a group of people talking about relationship and it's produced by a network called Indani TV. It's a Nigerian network so you can check it out. Um, they tend to talk about relationships quite a lot and in this video they were talking about physical form. Um, the lady, the host, well the host was like um, someone approached her and the person that approached her was just, you know, interested in her, that kind of approach, had marks on their face, well, some sort of tribal marks. If you're familiar with Africans, um, indigenous Africans, most people tend to have tribal marks in their face as a sign of, and it means different things, beauty, protection, whatever it was, I was a bit hurt that she said that. And then everybody within the group started mentioning the things that they had obviously seen that they considered as physical flaw. One other person mentioned how they had a friend that dated someone that was blind and they were concerned, are you going to look up well, how are you going to deal with it? Okay, you can see that I'm getting frustrated. And there was another lady that meant, mentioned how she dated a guy, the guy was sweating and he was spitting. And one person spoke well and he was like, he doesn't think it's a physical flaw because you grow old and nobody is perfect. You might look at someone today and think, oh, they're so awesome. And you don't know what's going to happen to them in the next five years, seven years, 10, 20 years. People can suffer dementia. People can suffer. Also, you guys know what's going on there. Someone can just have an accident and that's it so many things that happen that we can't control so in a nutshell he spoke well and the reason why i'm highlighting this video is because i know that the right people out there that do have you know to, to, to term something that you can't control a physical flaw i think it's an issue why would you even call it a flaw what is flaw because he's blind i don't understand like i don't get it like how is that a flaw did he tell you that it was a flaw for him like, who the, are you to say that that's a physical flaw? Like, I don't understand what thermometer or what criteria are you using to judge people? You can't say stuff like that to start with. That's just rude. It's blatantly rude. And also, if that's the case, then I should start mentioning the things that don't look very good about you if you want to talk about physical flaw. I, I felt like it was just not a good thing to... to I didn't feel like it was a good title. I didn't feel like it was very intelligent. And I didn't feel like a lot of the people that spoke, spoke from a vanity perspective because they were like, um, we had tribal marks. They speak like, first thing first, this, we don't choose these things. People generally don't choose to have these things. Sometimes people don't have a choice. So generally speaking, people, generally speaking, people don't have a choice. People are born with certain things that they don't, they don't choose it. So, you think they're happy? To, you think they're okay? And if they are okay, like, what are you to not put, try and be like, oh, yeah. I'm, I just find it hard to, to comprehend that we live in a world where we are judging people by their physical appearance and making it about them. Well, the reason I'm not going to go out with this guy is because he has a tribal max. That's on you, not on the guy. It's on you. That's your own insecurity. That is your own insecurity like that's on you it's never going to be on the person 
that's your own issue that you need to deal with because this person is probably the best like i don't want to talk about that character but because they've got like how sad are you you might okay if, let's take a guy that actually doesn't have a travel max let's say he's just someone that just does his own thing let's take that guy what if he has an accident and he's got marks on his face that he can't get rid of like i don't want people to have this mindset that you know judge people by the character get to know them and if you don't want to get to know them it's fine but don't say it's about them it's about it's on you it's on you if you say that the girl is not light skin enough that's on you if you say that the person is doesn't have a bigger button that's on you if that's on you and that's your principles and your own values and we all know them that you're very myopic that's on you it's not on the other person and i just hated that i watched that video and we live in a society where younger generations are coming up and this is what we're showing our generations to judge people the way they look to judge people and say to them that oh you've got this i can't be with no it shouldn't be like that it should be about character it should be about attitude i suppose generally speaking if we talk about relationships if you don't like someone you tend to pick out the features or oh, he's got a big head or uh, his nose is too big or the other person will say that but if you like someone let his nose be doubled you don't care um and i think that's what we should strive for if you like the person what does it matter i really don't care understand what what does it really matter so that's just me venting for today and hopefully you've learned loads and i will catch you next week please like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll do a part of this video if, if i'm watching i don't think it's good enough thank you very much bye bye